<laughs> now, today, now, Kate, growing up on a farm, learned to drive at a very young age and had her first solo drive at age eight around the paddocks. When she was 11 years old, her dad got her to drive down to the shops to get everyone some fish and chips. After she ordered, the police arrived and <laughs> ate their lunch in the fish and chip shop so Kate couldn't get back in the car and drive away, so she sat there and ate a family pack of fish and chips. <laughs> until they left. <laughs> <laughs> yeah or nah? Oh, wow, I love this. So of course you, you love it. It's got potatoes in there. <laughs> <laughs> You're only Scottish until there's a potato. <laughs> <laughs> Cherry picking my nationality. Um, so you were 11 years old mm. at this point. Yeah. And you learned Driving to drive. for three years by that <laughs> so, so off yeah. your peas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can take passengers. <laughs> How did you reach the pedals? I can reach, it was fine. You just push the chair in. Needed a cushion sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. We were like that kid from Indiana Jones with the yeah, little the boxes blocks. on us. <laughs> short, short round. Short round, yeah, short round. So, did, so up until that point, between the ages of eight and 11, you were driving around the paddock yeah. What were you driving? My pa had a Suzuki, so this little Suzuki ute. It was a little oh, red yeah. ute. It was a manual as well. <laughs> <laughs> Doing hill starts in the paddock? Do yeah. yeah. I could do, <laughs> I I could do hill starts, so I could, pull, I could pull someone out of a dam if I needed to. <laughs> oh, well <laughs> done, Skippy the Bush things. Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> could so you, you do look? a doughy? <laughs> Donuts? Oh, okay. I usually had kids in the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is true. <laughs> and who taught you? Your dad, was it? No, my pa taught me how to drive. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. And that experience, was it, because uh, I, I learned with a relative it can be a bit tense. Was it tense at all? No, it was just out of kind of necessity. Like we'd been sitting on his lap since we were probably about two or three doing, like doing. Oh yeah. So we'd start. Must have not got any work done at all. Just kids all the time on his lap. Well, no, but he put us to work. So it'd be like we get it, and then we'd go and you know open the gates. That you know right, we were right, doing right, right, stuff. Right. But yeah. anyway, so you know, and he's you know he was going blind by that point anyway. He needed <laughs> someone to be able to see where we were going. So like I'd steer and then, you know, then I got to do the gear. So he'd do the clutch and then yep. when I progressed to being able to do everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, do, right. Actually, no, I sat there and did the clutch and then he sat in the passenger seat and did the gears. That's how real and driving then, lessons should happen. You should mm. sit on the instructor's knee. <laughs> 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 in the crowd until you're comfortable. You're, you're the only one little enough here to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, did you ever drive people home while they were drunk? Yes, well, that's why I that's was driving down again. to the fish and chips. Oh, I, I, oh, I, thought so, was, I thought he was blind as and he couldn't see anymore. No, I know, so that's, well, that was my car, but then we lived sort of in the town and Dad lost his licence, so that's why I was driving to the fish Why and did Dad lose oh his licence? Because of drink driving. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it's a Friday night as well, I assume, fish and chips, so yeah. everyone's maggoted yeah. by then yeah. after the long week. Yeah. yeah, so that's why I was driving. Um, so your, uh, what would have been your alibi if the cops had gone, that's, that's your car out there, isn't it? <laughs> that's at the pub. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was, and they probably thought that anyway, you know, that's yeah. just yeah, yeah. where dad was, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, he had a seat. And <laughs> did, did you keep eating even though you felt full because you're like, this is my alibi, this is how I get out of this, I, I gotta act like I bought this for myself. Yeah. A family <laughs> size I meal. I bloody love fish and chips. <laughs> I just sat there the whole time. I bloody love fish and chips. <laughs> Your honour. <laughs> um, Were there any pickled onions in the order? No. Oh, that's good. We're too stingy to get pickled onions. <laughs> know what they that they were pickled onions until about two years ago oh really yeah i just sort of thought they were weird kind of balls like i <laughs> presume they must have been like <laughs> like like bull balls yeah. just, what was in the family pack so it's just you got four pieces of flake two dim sims and then your oh chips. god yes what was left? <laughs> No potato cakes? Did you get through? Is there anything? Yeah, so what are those extra? Uh, did you, is there anything left at the? Was there anything left at the end? Did you get through it all? Or um? oh, there was a few chips and stuff. I couldn't eat all of the flake, but I gave it a red hot. <laughs> <laughs> I got through three pieces of it. What uh, did What did your family say when you got home? 
Yeah, that was my next question. <laughs> then, I, then I got sent back around to go get it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dave, what do you reckon? Yeah or no? All right, nah? there's so much rich detail <laughs> from Kate on this uh, story, on this account. I'm going to have to say yes. You are incorrect. It what? was no. Nah. Well done, Kate. Kate gets a point. She was 12. Very good. Uh, <laughs> so what's the traces of truth in there? You did learn how to drive from 8 to 11? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Anything to do with the fish and chips? No? She once ate fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> there was a fish and chip shop in our town. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my cost. dad was a booze hound. <laughs> <laughs>